Hey everybody, it's St. Cloud the NG Man here. Now, today we're talking about something that is not weapons, much to some of your d delights. But, um, no, today we're talking about a kind of mechanic of the engineer class, which is building your buildings. Now, I have here a dispenser and a sentry. Let's say I want to rebuild this thing, right? So I can't build my sentry from this build menu because, well, it's already been built, so I have to go to the destroy menu. And then, well, any metal, of course, but then you would just simply build it from the build menu. Well, what if I told you that this can be accomplished way quicker? Watch me just destroy these buildings without popping up the menu at all. Easy, right? The way I do this is through scripting, and I'm going to go over how I scripted this today. But, let me show you exactly how quickly you can build these buildings. So, I'm just standing right here. You know, minding my own business on Thunder Mountain, all of a sudden I hit my middle mouse button and bam! Sentry going up. As a quick speed comparison, the opposite would just be going to... 4, 1, place. While people can kind of get this in their muscle memory and do it really quickly, I still think this is an easier method. And I'd like to show you guys how you can do it. So let's go right into that. Alright, so here we are, arrived at my desktop with my little video thumbnail in the background. And what we're going to do is, this is just a Windows tutorial, but I'm going to post the same method for Linux in the comments. And I guess, same goes for Mac and whatever. So you're going to click on your Explorer, and you're going to start go, You're going to start out in your local disk directory, okay? So here we are, right? So now I'm going to click on Program Files x86, for the non 64-bit programs, and then we're going to go to Steam. Now we're going to go down, hit Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, and then TF. Now you should get your TF2 game files on here. So these are my demos, these are some of my rendered videos, um, and then these are all the resource, you know, here's your resource folder, uh, here's the bin, where the DLLs go, and then you're going to find CFG, which is for config, all right? So in config, you have these text files that can execute commands in TF2 when a certain thing is triggered. So the class ones, Pyro, Scout, Sniper, Soldier, Spy, all these things are triggered when you go with that class. So we're engineers, so we're looking for engineer.cfg. Now you can open this in Notepad, or I like to use Notepad++. It's up to you, really. Um, so here you can see I have a couple commands in my engineer config. Now what we're talking about today are these commands. For these ones, you don't really need to worry about the bind load item preset ones. That's basically so I can quickly switch my loadouts, which we'll talk about in a later video. But here we go. This is where you do it. So as you can see here, I have my mouse 3, my middle mouse button bound to the sentry alias. So let's look back here. Sentry alias. Destroy 2, build 2. Now 2 is the kind of code for sentry in TF2 lingo. I don't know why it's not 0, because it's the first one that you build. Um, it just is. So when you want to destroy your sentry, the console command that executes is destroy 2. So you can make it so when you hit this button, it executes destroy 2 and build 2. So when I hit my middle mouse button, whatever sentry I had was destroyed and then a new one is brought up in the toolbox ready for me to place which is really good for kind of close firefights when someone destroys your mini also it goes the same for all the other buildings dispenser entrance and exit and i have dispenser bound to q entrance to control and exit to alt for those of you wondering shift is my crouch button but uh, this is an easy way just to simply bind all these things together also make sure you use semicolons at the end i don't know why i forgot that um, but, and, you know, the rest of this script, the things like this, and then Solar Lights Eureka Effect Teleport script that was from Uncle Dane's video I watched. But, um, the rest of that you can do on your own time. Anything in your config will be executed when you start the engineer class up. But this is really the bulk of what I like to use. So I'm going to put this in the comments section, and you could put it in your own engineer config. If there is no engineer.cfg in this folder, never fear, just make one. So simply go to whatever it is, uh, you know, new, we can do that, right? Yeah, new, and then uh, you can just new file, 
text document and make sure you save it as a CFG file. Um, and that's simply it. So you'll see when you go into the game, you should be able to just hit whatever button you want. You can change these buttons. I'm going to link you the names of all the keys because they are not what you'd expect for some of them. So that's on the TF2 wiki. I'll show you what that is. And, well, simply that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy using scripts. We might go over some more complex scripts later. But this is a pretty simple one and it can be a time saver. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, peace out.